Hey guys, I do Vice Help here, and today Apple released iOS 11.1 Beta 1, that's a lot of ones, for registered developers. Now, public beta testers that haven't seen this rollout yet, you may see it later tonight or maybe tomorrow. But not to be confused with iOS 11.0.1, which was released yesterday to the general public. This one's for developers, 11.1, without the zero in between. Now, you can go to general software updates, and you can prompt it to download the software, which is 2 gigabytes. That is a large download, so there's a few things I want to share with you guys, some differences between the two. This our device on the left is running iOS 11.0 and the one on the right is running iOS 11.1 beta 1. So let's go ahead and get to some of the changes in the software. I'm going to show you the build number here for the latest beta which is going to be 15B5066F and that is going to be the latest build for iOS 11.1 beta 1. First I want to talk about a few things that Apple didn't address or hasn't addressed as of yet and that is going to be the iMessages in iCloud that's still not present in iOS 11.1 beta 1. So no iMessages in iCloud I'm really hoping for this feature I've actually recorded a video of that feature a few weeks back maybe a month ago when it was available before iOS 11 even released when it was available before in beta and Apple took it away so that video has been privated and I haven't released it yet because I was going to show you how to sync your messages between iOS devices using the messages within iCloud but that feature has not been enabled so messages within iCloud still not present in iOS 11.1 as well as the peer-to-peer -peer payment in messages you know you can send money using uh, your iMessages application Apple Pay that's yet to make its debut on iOS 11.1 beta 1 so those things are not here yet aside from that I wanted to share with you guys a new option here in SOS or maybe not a new option but it's an option that's going to be unique to iPhone 8 and of course iPhone 10 in the future you see here that we have an option to toggle on or off the five button click for the power button to activate SOS emergency now you can also hold the volume up or down with the power button on the iPhone 8 and 8 plus and 10 in order to activate SOS as well so other than that I haven't really noticed a whole lot of difference and changes within the operating system for those of you who are still hoping for the 3d touch multitasking gesture to come back that is yet to be available here in iOS 11.1 although Craig Federighi did mention that that will be a feature added back to iOS where you 3d touch on the edge and it will bring you to the multitasker but it's still not present here on this version of iOS 11.1.1. Also wanted to talk about some of the things that you guys asked me on the comments and that's going to be 3D touch speeds as you can see here on iOS 11.1.1. Still the choppiness is there. Apple hasn't improved it as of yet. Hopefully by the time this software is completely released we'll see an improvement on that. One thing I did want to point out is that if I ask Siri to open an application I don't know if it's a glitch or an issue with my device itself just check it out. Open settings. You'll need to unlock it only gives first. me this option here the touch ID button instead of giving me the entire menu in order to go ahead and open the application just like that it should do that but I don't know if this is a glitch or an error or what but that is happening on the latest build another thing I did notice is that Apple has been rearranging emojis around if I go here to the smiley faces and people right here you see if we go down the line here you see right there the cowboy hat and the clown on the latest beta that's not there you see right there follow the pattern not there it has been moved all the way over here and there's been some rearranging of emojis in this beta. I haven't seen any new emojis. If you guys find any new ones, let me know in the comments down below. But rearranging of emojis also in iOS 11.1. But anyway, guys, that about brings it into this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If I find anything else, I'll be sure to update you guys with another follow-up video. It's been iDevice Help, and I'll see you real soon. Peace.